Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Quotes 243. Quote today is by Confucius, you know, of course, the very famous uh, Chinese philosopher from, you know, a long, long time ago. All right, let's take a look at his quote. Uh, the first part is, by three methods, we may learn wisdom. Uh, first, by reflection, which is the noblest. Uh, second, by imitation, which is the easiest. Uh, and third, uh, by experience, which is the bitterest, you know, the most painful. All right, so let's continue. Uh, with this quote, Confucian is literally uh, giving you three methods, not only to learn, but to become wiser. Uh, we can learn many things in our life. They don't always make us wiser. Yeah. You can learn the combination to a lock that doesn't make you wiser. You can learn some trivia about what movie star starred in that movie or, you know, who won that Academy Award or, you know, who hit the most home runs. Uh, these don't necessarily make you wiser. You did learn something, but it didn't necessarily make you a wiser person. Okay. Uh, it is only through a deeper uh, understanding of analyzing and distinguishing uh, what is more important or morally right or wrong can we become wiser. Okay, let's continue. Uh, reflection is deep analyzing of our past behavior and judging the morals of behavior. This is most noble uh, because we have to use uh, our higher level qualities. We have to use our understanding, we have to use our thought, we have to use uh, any spiritual aspects that we may have about ourselves. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, so th that's why this is the most noble. We have to use these higher levels and one must be brave. You know, so br remember bravery is part of being noble too. To fairly judge one's own actions in a fair, truthful and unbiased way. To improve oneself. Okay. Uh, let's look at, uh, let's continue. Uh, the second method is the easiest uh, because we simply have to follow and copy behavior of other successful people who had good habits. Yeah, that's why sometimes in the store you see these people, they buy somebody's life story and they think maybe by, you know, trying to do the same thing, doesn't always work out, uh, that they may also have a successful life. But if you're serious about it, you could try to follow their path. And, you know, he's saying this might be the easiest way to do it, to become a wiser person. Okay. And, yeah, so you copy their behavior and their other good habits, of course, and, and also their moral behavior. Uh, the third method is the most bitter, the one that will make you, you might still learn, you might still become wiser, but it's the most painful way to do it. Uh, we can understand this from the idiom to learn the hard way. Yeah, in English, we have that to learn the hard way. We hear that all the time. We always hear our parents and our teachers saying, well, I'm just warning you because I don't want you to have to learn the hard way. I don't want you to have to learn through making, having the experience and doing, making mistakes and you learn through those mistakes. So from this idiom to learn the hard way, hopefully you learn by your mistakes. So that's another thing. A lot of times we do make mistakes, but sometimes we don't learn from them. We have to make the same mistake again and again, maybe before you finally may learn from it uh, and become wiser. Uh, it is the most pain painful because you have to live with the consequences of your mistakes. Yeah, hopefully you can make up for it. Hopefully you can get past it. But you know, some mistakes, uh, the, the consequences may linger. So this is why it may be the bitterest or, you know, the one that may make you the most unhappy. But again, you could still become wise this way as well. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.